Hi, I'm Orion with Groove Forward, and this is the 2017 Escape Titanium. With the 2.0 liter EcoBoost engine and the six speed auto transmission select shift. Coming stock on this car, you're going to be equipped with a blind spot indication system that activates and registers cars anywhere between 10 to 40 feet behind the vehicle. This option that we have here today is the 2.0 liter twin scroll EcoBoost engine. The EcoBoost is an awesome feature that Ford has. It's gonna be a turbo that's placed on the engine, so it allows for a smaller engine with better fuel economy. The option that we have here today provides 23 miles per gallon combined with 245 horsepower and 275 foot-pounds per torque. Active vents, which are gonna change between 16 different positions to improve aerodynamics for the vehicle and increase fuel economy. With the titanium that we have here as well, we do have the high intensity diode headlights. These are gonna last for about three times as long, so 3,000 running hours versus your standard 1,000. They're also gonna be about two and a half times brighter than your standard headlight. The LED taillights and the foiled um, rear view taillights, so they're gonna be much brighter and much more visible from a distance. We also have the kick assist hands-free tailgate with this open, it is completely reprogrammable using the tailgate button. If you just press and hold, it will reset itself. So if you are opening it or lowering it in a small garage or parking space, you don't have to worry about dinging the back of your vehicle. We also have the rear backup camera as well as the trailer uh, tow package three on this. With the trailer tow package three, it will be able to haul up to 3,500 pounds with the 2.0 liter EcoBoost. So even on one of our smaller SUV style vehicles, we do have quite a bit of towing capacity. We have the keyless uh, pad entry. So you can enter up to three combinations in here and store them. So you never have to worry about locking your keys in the car again. As well as you have intelligent access, which is a lock button. Um, if you have the keys in your hand, the second you grab the handle, the driver's side door will unlock for you. As you open, uh, you can notice Ford's comfort design handles for ease of use as well. As we take a look on the inside, we do have a 10-way programmable driver's seat with three programmable options. So if you have multiple drivers, you can uh, have different settings so nobody in the family is arguing or changing each other's settings. On the inside, we are equipped with the SYNC 3 which is a Ford's newest computer-based system that accesses Ford Pass as well as uh, Siri and a multitude of app shares. On the inside, Ford redesigned the center console by eliminating your old manual e-brake. What they've added is an electric e-brake and that's allowed them to move the shifter down from the center console up to a more ergonomical position by the right knee. Another fuel-saving economy feature that Ford has really worked hard to put into this vehicle is the auto start stop technology that comes stock with any of their EcoBoost engines on the Escape. What that does is at the second you pull up to a stoplight, the engine will actually shut itself off under certain situations and allow um, the, the car to save gas as well as idle hours. So you're putting less use on your vehicle and saving mileage. Moving back to the passenger row, we do have fully leather equipped rear seats as well as a regular outlet which has 110 volt and 150 watt uh, discharge from it so you can charge your electrical devices at almost house speeds. The rear seats do have a 60-40 split with a center console that does come stock with two cup holders um, as well as booster seat anchor points in the left and the right rear seat. How about we go and take a test ride in the brand new 2017 Escape? So on the home screen for the sink, we do have our navigation as well as what entertainment is playing, so FM 107.9 currently, as well as my phone connected. I have an Android and I have it connected through Bluetooth currently, so let's select that. I can see my phone call list, my contacts, text messages, as well as call people and set a do not disturb setting. So if I am driving, I can tell people not to call. We can switch over screens, go to navigation. This is controlled through the 
navigation screen as well as you can access all of these features using the side panel here. And lastly, when your phone is connected, mine through Bluetooth currently, it does have App Connect, so I can open my personal Spotify from my phone and play whatever music I have playing through my phone. And that will just pop up and override any of the previous audio settings. So if you were listening to the radio, you hit Spotify and that'll just start playing. Other apps available are Pandora um, as well as iHeartRadio. We can go into the settings for all of these screens you can add another Bluetooth device. Um, you have Wi-Fi, voice control, uh, and a ton of other additionals as well as display features. So using Ford Pass, you can see the fuel left in your vehicle. You have auto unlock, lock, and engine start, as well as navigate or constant vehicle GPS locations, including yours, and then an auto start stop schedule. So if you want to start your car at 8 o'clock every morning, you can feel free to using the Ford Pass app. So right hand control panel controls all of your entertainment as well as your voice to car. Left hand controls all of your uh, display features in the center console. Underneath we have our adaptive cruise control settings, which will determine the length behind the vehicle in front of you as well as it will prime the brakes if the vehicle starts slowing down and it will slow down with the vehicle in front. So instead of having to stop and restart your uh, cruise control, the vehicle will take care of it and then once traffic has cleared, the vehicle will open itself back up and move back up to the cruise control speed that you had it previously set at. Behind the wheel, we do have our select shift paddles um, that we mentioned earlier that will help with towing as well as descending in the mountains or even getting up the speed a little bit faster because it'll give you the control to access from there. With the vehicle that we have currently, we do have the auto start stop technology. So when pulled up to a stop, the vehicle will shut the engine off to save on fuel performance, as well as this is your parking assist. You can turn the sensors off or on based upon these buttons as well as the uh, auto start or stop. This is going to be your active park assist. This will help you parallel park as well as perpendicular park. You can determine which side the vehicle will search for parking spaces by using the left or right turn signals. And then the very last button is just gonna be your traction control on and off switch. The vehicle that we were in today also does feature the intelligent four wheel drive access or the intelligent four-wheel drive. What that does for you is as you're cruising around the city, it initiates a front-wheel drive mode, so it saves on fuel, but the second any of the tires detect slip or the yaw sensors detect any angle change, it will apply the additional torque to rear wheels, front wheels, as well as braking to any of the four selected wheels to try and level the car back off so that it can continue in a straight line.